Hi friends, this is Varsha Subbarav along with Danu welcomes you to Green Coach. Green Coach offers online tutorial for various horticulture subjects. Today we are dealing about the integrated pest management of entomology. Today we are dealing about the biological control. Today we are dealing about mass multiplication of Epanthelus species. We are dealing about Epanthelus flaviceps, flavipus. Epanthelus flavipus belongs to the family Placonidae. It belongs to the order Hymenoptera. It is a larval parasite. Apanthelus flavipus belongs to the family Braconidae. It belongs to the order Hymenoptera. It is a larval parasite. Apanthelus flavipus belongs to the family Braconidae. It belongs to the order Hymenoptera. It is larval parasite. Let's see its biology in brief. Development takes place in 14 days. Cocoon formation takes place in 5.6 days. Longevity of male is 2.2 days, whereas female is 2.7 days. Total it is 19. 0.74 days approximately 20 days once again see the biology development is development is 14 days for cocoon formation it takes 5.6 days for cocoon formation it takes 5.6 days the longevity of male is 2.2 days the longevity of female is 2.7 days longevity of male is 2.2 days longevity of female is 2.7 days total life cycle takes place in 19.74 days approximately 20 days approximately 20 days let's see the mass multiplication procedure chylopatellus is a larva which is already parasitized by apanthelus flavipus chylopatellus is a larva which is already parasitized by apanthelus flavipus we will take that larva and we will place it on splitter sorghum so that we can feed it by sorghum we already parasitized Chylopatellus we took, we took already parasitized Chylopatellus. The Chylopatellus is parasitized by Apanthelus flavipus. We will split the sorghum stems and we will place it on the sorghum stem. And Chylopatellus feeds on the sorghum so that the Apanthelus flavipus on Chylopatellus also feeds. Chylopatellus feeds on sorghum so that the Apanthelus is also feed. Cocoons of Apanthelus. Cocoons of Apanthelus were formed. We will extract these cocoons into a tube. We will extract these cocoons into a tube. We will wait for few days. After this, emergence of uh, grubs takes place. They become adults. We will take the mates. Mates means one, fe one male and one female. We will take the mates from the cocoon and we will place them in a jar. We will place them in a jar. Two to three centimeters of the bottom of the jar are left. And the entire jar is covered with a back cloth or black paper. Female egg, eggs on black pepper and we will collect that black pepper. After emergence, we will collect the mates. Mates means one male and one female. We will place them in a jar. We will left 2 to 3 cm bottom space and we will cover with the entire jar with black pepper or black cloth. Female eggs on the black pepper. We will extract the black pepper and we can use the eggs for further multiplication or we will left them in the. Once again, we will discuss the mass multiplication of Apanthelus flavipus in detail. Chylopatellus is a larva which is already parasitized by Apanthelus flaviceps. We will take that. We will place it in slitted sorghum. The Chylopatellus feeds on the sorghum. The Apanthelus also got feed. And the Apanthelus forms cocoons. We will extract the cocoons into a tube. We will wait, wait for emergence. After emergence, we will took the mates means one male and one female we will place them in a jar we will left two to three centimeters bottom space and we will cover the jar with black pepper female eggs on the black pepper we will collect the eggs we can shrink the jar with honey as a source of carbohydrate the honey should be always in diluted form which may be range of 20 to 50 percent we will see the diagrammatic representation here We took Chylopatellus. The Chylopatellus got parasitized by Apanthelus. We will place the uh, parasitized Chylopatellus on the splitted sorghum. Cocoons of Apanthelus are formed. We will wait for the adult emergence. We will place the adult of uh, Apanthelus in a jar and we will cover it with black cloth and the female legs on the black cloth. Here the precaution is no hypoparasitism can be seen here. No hypoparasitism can be seen. And the room temperature should be maintained at 27 plus or minus 2 degrees. Room temperature should be maintained as 27 plus or minus 2 degrees. Heart should be maintained as 65%. Heart should be maintained as 65%. Let's discuss in brief what we learned today in Green Coach class. We will deal with the mass multiplication of Apanthelus flavipus. Apanthelus flavipus belongs to the family Braconidae. It belongs to the order Hymenopteris and larval parasitoid. 
biology development takes place in 14 days cocoon formation 5 to 6 days longevity of male is 2.2 days longevity of female is 2.7 days total life cycle takes place in 19.7 days as an average 20 days can be taken as consideration the chylopatellus larvae is already parasitized by appendicular flavipus we will place it in splitted sorghum stems so that it acts as feed the appendicular got also got feed it forms cocoons we will extract that cocoons into a tube We'll wait for emergence. Mates are taken. That means one male and one female. We'll place them in a jar, secreted with honey, which will be diluted from 20 to 50 percent, and we will leave two to three centimeters bottom space, and we'll cover with uh, black muslin cloth. The female eggs on it. We can collect the eggs, which can use it for further multiplication or directly use it for field purpose. Here is a diagrammatic presentation. You can see here. Chylopatellus got parasitized by appendicular placed on sorghum. Cocoons are formed. Adults are emerged. We'll take in jar. The eggs are laid on the black cloth. Precautions here is no hyperparasitism can be seen, and the room temperature should be maintained as twenty seven plus or minus two degrees, and R should be maintained as sixty percent. That's all for now, friends. In today's green couch class, we'll learn about the mass multiplication of appendicular flavipus. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe Green Couch channel for further video updates. We'll update you soon with another video. Keep on supporting us. Share maximum, guys. Thank you. Please give your valuable comments in our comment section. Keep supporting us, and this is Vashish Barrow along with Banu signing off for today.